we told you that a tiny town of just over 3,000 people with high unemployment and low wages for those with jobs resurrected itself through localism. That's the Hardwick, Vermont story. Creative entrepreneurs have found fertile ground in Hardwick and have launched dozens of specialty food items from the Caledonia County community. WPTZ's George Mele is live at Healthy Living in South Burlington tonight, where some of those items are sold, George. Absolutely, Steph, and, and you summed it up well because Hardwick has essentially become a model for sustainable agriculture and for localism, as you say, but it's also become a model really for creative business practices. Case in point, a shared use kitchen where many of the products here with me were initially created, and they were created with a minimum of investment. Tonight, we visit the Vermont Food Venture Center. This is our soup hot chili sambal. The moment Warwick Dowsett opens his mouth, I think we're good to go. It's clear the award winning chef, known as Waz, isn't from Hardwick, Vermont. Good poor. But this Australian adventurer chose to start Waz Kitchen Creations in Hardwick. Ooh, hot. To be a part of the thriving food revolution taking place here. I'd never heard of Vermont when I landed. And everyone said, you know, Vermont's where you need to be looking. That's where it's at. Waz Kitchen Creations found fertile ground here in Hardwick, and specifically here at the Food Venture Center. This place is an incubator for new products like this, and more importantly, for new ideas. We have three production kitchens. The Food Venture Center is a shared use kitchen that allows creative entrepreneurs to launch new food products without making a massive investment in kitchen hardware. We have some convection ovens in the back, a flop peeler. This is a forehead filler. Connor Gorham is the facilities manager here. We are an incubator. We are coddling those eggs until they hatch and then they grow and then they move on to their own facility. We have a general warehouse space, blast freezer capability. While Gorham is proud of the 60 specialty food businesses that have launched here, executive director Sarah Waring is focused on a slightly larger picture. We need some alternative ways of looking at our global resources. She believes Hardwick and its hub intersection, the Food Venture Center, are a model for success in a small agricultural community. We're trying to create meaningful work in the place where we live, um, and we're basing it on our agriculture and our farms and our food, and that's something that anybody can do. That model only works, though, if everyone buys in. On a recent fall morning, isn't the freshest milk we can possibly get. Long before sunrise, see if our cultures are working. We joined Jasper Hill Farms head cheesemaker Jim Russell as he painstakingly labored over a new batch of cheese in the Food Venture Center. Came down here with Mateo and we started to develop the Alpha Toman recipe. It's an alpine style cheese. Jasper Hill is already imminently successful and could have Russell making cheese anywhere. But Jasper Hill Farms owners believe in the mission of the Food Venture Center and have chosen to be anchor tenants here. Could we have built our own processing facility? Yes, we could have. This was uh, an opportunity that we felt we couldn't pass up to help bring just an amazing piece of infrastructure to our community. That sentiment may well be what the Hardwick model's all about. Completely defined where we decided to settle and um, how, we, how the business was going to grow. Local agriculture reviving a small town's economy and community, perhaps even its sense of self. And as we wrap up this story rescued by food, I owe a debt to Ben Hewitt in his book, The Town That Food Saved. It tells the entire Hardwick story in much more detail than we're able to do on television. It's a good read worth reading. And he's got a new book that just came out entitled Homegrown, also a very good read. We are live in South Burlington tonight. George Mallet, WPTZ News Channel 5.